Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a super simple, easy hairstyle type video. I get so many questions about my top knot. I felt like it was just too much of an easy video to film, but seeing as I've just been getting so many questions about it, seeing as I've been wearing my hair like this for such a long time, I thought that maybe I could just film this video and it will help you guys. It is a very hard thing to do. I, I even, I admit it myself, like to get that perfect messy bun, takes such a long time like it's almost easier doing a perfect bun than a messy bun so I thought why not share with you my tips and tricks on how I create my sleek little top knot let me know what you guys thoughts are and if you enjoy these type of videos let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see more of them but if you want to know how I created this top knot bun please just keep on watching so first of all what you're going to need is a dry shampoo I am using the Batiste Hair Dry Refresh and I got it in the flavor cherry. A strong hairspray, some shine spray slash oil just to smooth out any of those frizzies. A paddle brush, tail comb. This is the comb that has the stick on the end. Some bobby pins. And last but not least, we're going to need some snag free hair ties. I like to use the clear hair ties preferably the thicker ones only because my hair is quite thick and the thinner ones tend to snap really easily and when you're doing a hairstyle like this you want to make sure that it's going to hold up for you know pretty much the whole time that you're going to wear it and you're not going to be walking around and feel like a snap of a hair tie in there i picked these up from my local hair suppliers you can get them pretty much anywhere i pay about five dollars for them and you get 30 in the packet i usually like to get the clear ones only because i have balayage sort of style hair and I like to make sure that they don't become noticeable once my hair is up. First thing that you want to do is take your dry shampoo. Now, typically I usually like to do these sort of hairstyles when my hair is probably on the third day and has a little bit of oil in it. My hair is very, very thick and coarse, so it doesn't go oily very often. But, you know, towards the end of my hair washing cycle, I do like to you know do my hair in this hairstyle because then that way I get a little bit longer out of it. I'm going to go in and just spray just a very little just to make sure that there aren't any like shiny oily sort of bits. Sort of roughly spray that about 30 centimeters away from my hair. This just kind of takes away any of that greasy sort of look because that is not attractive. Just kind of roughly rub that in there. Also, I like to do underneath a little bit as well, only because you'll be doing your hair up. So the last thing you want to do is have, you know, I find sometimes as well, like especially with blonde hair, when you're generally like getting ready to do your hair washing situation, having the dry shampoo and drying it on like those ends, it takes away any of that little like brassy sort of ugly kind of tone. Then once that is done, I like to prepare my hair ties. I am going to take two of my elastics and I'm just going to kind of stretch them out a little bit with my fingers just so that they're not too hard. And I'm going to place those off to the side. So once I comb my hair up, they're in easy access and I'm not holding my hair up in the hair tie rummaging around trying to look for them so I'm just going to put those off to the side there so what you're going to want to do is grab all of your hair sort of scrape it back a little bit you're going to want to just make sure you get it to the right point of where you want it to sit on your head so I always like to sort of sit it just not quite on top of the head but just a little bit below so once I sort of get it into the area that I like it and grab my brush and just sort of scrape that hair underneath and pull it to the top just so you're getting all of those bubbles out. If there are little bits of hair that sort of fall out, that's okay. We can fix that up, but you just want to mainly get any of those bubbles out from underneath. And then once you are happy with the way that it looks underneath, you're going to want to start from the sides and leave the top till last. So I'm just sort of brushing all of that in there and getting that all in so that's pretty neat like that then taking your hair elastic I like to put it in I haven't even wrapped it in 
I'm not pulling it all the way through so I've still got a little bit at the end there twist that part of hair there so that's getting all sort of caught up in between and bringing it back around so you should have something a little bit like that where that that is the part that you want to make sure that you secure anything from from now on is mainly just to make it look nice so once you feel like that is quite tight those elastic bands I, I want to stress to you I've tried to reuse elastics but I find it never quite gets the hold that what a new elastic does so if you can I would use a new elastic for this section as as tightly as possible because you'll probably find that you will get a tightness a little bit better once you have done that I like to go and just start to brush any of the loose hair that you may have and then just sort of spray that with your hairspray it's better to do it now so you can hide it into the hair tie when you do the next loop around and then just kind of brush it using your tail comb to just sort of smooth that and make sure that you're getting all of that in Another good trick to if you want like quite shiny slick hair is to use like a gel in a pot. That's always really good to do, but I, I don't know. I always find that that's just a little bit too much for me. Then taking your second hair tie, you want to take whatever's left and just wrap it around that hair tie area so that's sort of covering around there then you can just sort of pop that all the way down to the bottom and then you want to make sure that that is kind of lifted over the top and tucked up around so there you have like a really nice neat bun without looking like you've tried too hard then with any spare bobby pins I always like to go around and just sort of tuck in any parts of the hair that you are finding that are just sticking out a little bit too much and just sort of popping that down if you feel like that this part of your hair looks a little bit too perfect you can always go in and sort of pull bits out and just sort of like manipulate it into the way that you quite like it I feel like my hair is at the length now where I can it pretty much does what I want it to do so there you have it so now once you have done that you just want to spray that into position just really lightly and again taking the tail comb and just kind of lightly brushing any of your loose hairs or bubbles into that section to blend in a little bit more because we want it to be a little bit more slick and then once we have finished we're going to spray that all over just to make sure it's not going to go anywhere my hair is pretty dirty so I don't really need too much hairspray then to finish off the look it is not necessary but I always like to do it especially because I've put dry shampoo in I tend to find that it makes my hair look quite dull and lifeless and not shiny so I like to go in then with any sort of shine spray and I will just lightly sort of spritz that over the top so then it looks like it's just been freshly washed so it kind of counteracts that dry shampoo in that area okay guys and that comes to the end of this video it is such a basic video i almost wasn't going to film it because i feel like it was just too basic but i find that i'm getting so many people asking me when i wear this hairstyle how do i do it what are my tricks and when they ask me i'm just like it's so easy like it's almost too easy to sort of explain but i don't know i just felt like maybe this might be a good video to share with you guys if you did enjoy this sort of type of video even though it was super simple and was super easy let me know down below what your thoughts were and if you would like to see more of these sort of videos I do find that it is such a great hairstyle especially when I am finding that it is due for a wash it just instantly makes it look done it instantly make it, it makes it look sleek and you feel put together without really doing much and especially the fact that your hair is super dirty so it, it's even more of a bonus so you get more of a hairstyle out of your washing week so if you did enjoy this video please make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you are not subscribed to my online family please make sure you do if you hit that red bell button you will be notified every single time I post a video and as always I look forward to seeing you in my next video. See you later. Bye.